right. Well, welcome everyone, October 6th. So Wednesday, beautiful Wednesday, at least here in Hawaii, blue skies, no clouds in the sky. I hope everyone where they are, the weather is not only fine, but also that you and your family are fine, being healthy, being safe. Um, middle of the week, um, already two days have passed and the weekend is ahead of us. We always look forward to the weekends, but I also look forward to our Wednesdays because we have our corporate call. Before we get started with the agenda today and hand the time over to Angie, I really wanted to give a shout out to Aaron. Um, for all those that joined us last night, um, what a powerful testimony. I mean, I always love our testimonial calls. And I think you heard me say it before. Um, there are a couple of times that Aaron presented. Um, it is powerful because it's not scripted. Um, and it comes from the heart, and you can truly, truly feel um, what Aaron has, one, gone through um, before um, Nerf 2 and before his experience with the wonderful products here at Actis, but also the change in his life um, that he has experienced by taking um, one before Actis products, and then secondly, and more importantly, with the Actis products. Um, and then his found love in sharing that with a lot of people. And so I wanted to really um, shout out and give a thank, heartful thanks to Aaron and for his courage um, on sharing his story. Um, if you have not heard it last night, it's all good and fine, but make sure you go on the recording on our YouTube channel and, and then listen to it. Um, you will be touched by it. You will be inspired by it. And it will only help your business in sharing the product and also sharing um, the business side of it, which Aaron pointed out, which was very, very powerful as well. It's life changing um, for both him and for everyone um, that listens to it. So thank you so much, Aaron, for your inspirational testimonial last night. Uh, with that being said, um, we want to recognize our CEO on the call, David Brown looking beautiful as ever. And also Ryan Thompson, our president, um, looking spiffier than ever. Um, and so as we start the call, I would wanna um, turn the time over to our COO and the ever so brilliant and beautiful Angie Hawthorne. Thank you, Stu. Okay, so um, I am super excited because we are gonna do recognition today. And we had a lot of great rank advancements in the month of uh, September. But before we jump to that, uh, again, broken record here, I'm gonna talk about the um, incentive trip. We have people that are knocking on, well, we have people that have qualified for the incentive trip already, but then we have others that are knocking on the door to get to the incentive trip. So if you have, um, if you have, if you're getting close to qualifying for the incentive trip, Make sure you have your plan for October. If you don't know how you're going to get there, contact me. I will help you. I will help you put a plan together to make sure that we get you guys qualified. We want as many people as possible on this trip, and we want to help you guys get there. We don't want to go to Costa Rica alone. We need people there to celebrate with us. So you guys need to get qualified because I want to be, I want to see you guys face to face. I am. I love these Zooms, but I'm tired of, of uh, being on Zooms. I want to see you guys face to face. So we need to get you qualified so that we can meet you to meet everyone in person. Um, okay, for the month of October, I'm going to go through um, our promotions for the month of October, and then we're going to jump right into recognition. So let me share my screen, and we're going to turn this into a presentation really quick. Oh, and you can't see the right one. Let me let me do this one more time. Bear with me. Okay, so for the month of October, we have a couple of things that are happening. First of all, um, we have our new um, activation kit. So before we had a $50 activation kit, but we introduced the $10 digital activation kit to help those when the pandemic um, started. So we're going to, we are removing the digital activation kit because we realize the importance of the printed materials. And we want to make sure that everyone gets the printed materials in their hands. Um, but instead of doing a $50 activation kit, we actually reduced the price to $30. So when you enroll, you're going to have the option of, or when you enroll, 
someone else, since you guys have already enrolled, when you enroll someone, um, they'll have the option of the English or the Spanish activation kit, and then they'll just pick which pack they want. Uh, what's really cool is if you enroll someone with the premium pack, the activation kit is included in the price. So what they will see is um, the $30 activation kit and then a $470 premium kit, but there's $500 in volume on those premium kits uh, because the activation kit is free. So it's, it's a little bit of a change on the enrollment process, but we are super excited. Um, the success guide, the um, product information pages, these are really good to have in hand so that you have the information um, in your hand that you're reading to build your business. Uh, we are especially excited about the success, success guide. That's something that we talk about on a regular basis that we go through. Um, and we want everyone that enrolls with the company to have a copy of it so that they know exactly what they need to do to build their business. So, um, and then to help out with the, the addition of the $30 activation kit, uh, we are giving anyone that enrolls with 200 PV or more a free bottle of genomics. So they enroll with, with the $200, they're gonna get the activation kit, they're gonna know how they're, to build their business, and they're, they're gonna have the free product, the free genomics that will also help them, they could either take it themselves or use it um, for sample products to help them build their business. So that's the first promotion um, starting in October. And then those that have already enrolled, um, we have a cool raffle that we're going to do for the month of October. And this happens every single week. Every week, we are going to give away a tablet and then five swag items. And then, so what you need to do for the weekly enrollments or weekly raffle is enroll two people with 200 PV or more, and you'll be put into the raffle. And then for the month of October, if you enroll three people with 200 PV or more in the month of October, you will be put into the raffle for the grand prize, which is a 70, at least a 70 inch TV. I think we're gonna go 75 inches. So get your enrollments in for the month of October. Um, the other change we made was on the incentive trip, we increased the points for enrollments. So our promotions are go along with the change that we did for the incentive trip. So instead of 50 points that you can max out on for enrollments, we've increased that to 75 points. So if you enroll someone uh, with the premium pack, the 500 PV, you get four points. Now you're not gonna max out at 50, you're gonna max out at 75. So again, going back to my original message of making sure you have your plan to qualify for the incentive trip, we're helping you again by increasing how many points you can count for enrollments. So be sure, again, to have your plan, you're going to be entered in for a raffle as you enroll people. You're going to get points for the incentive trip. It's all, it just all works together just so well. Okay, the next part, um, we wanted to go through our recognition of our rank advancements for the month of September. And uh, I want to give a shout out to our top enroller. So the top enroller for the U.S. was Miss Susie Boyd. She had 19 enrollments in the month of September, which is wow. absolutely phenomenal. Um, she also rank advanced in the month of September, which we'll get to, but I don't know if Susie's on the call or not, but I would love to hear from Susie and find out what did she do? Um, how did she get all these enrollments? We are super proud of her. Um, and it's really cool to be the top enroller for a country. So she's the top enroller for the U.S., for the entire U.S., um, but we'd love to hear from Susie if she's on the call and just hear, hear what she did and have any tips from anyone. So uh, Susie, are you on the call by chance? Yes, I am. I'm so excited to be here as well, you guys. This has just been phenomenal. So um, what did I do? Any tips? Mostly I just shared, 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 just on, 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 and just I had already a, a large network from other businesses that I had been with. So I was just bringing them on board and having them take a look at this. And I said, this is our forever home. This is it. We're done. So I was just very delighted with the, the business of actives, the products, the leadership here. It's, it's just been amazing. And it all came about with um, sending Trisha Albrechtson a happy birthday wish on Messenger. And that's how the conversation went from there and finding out what she's doing these days. And 
trying to tell her what I was currently into, but she said, I'm not interested, but if you're interested to look at what I have, and I said, well, sure. <laughs> and it just got more and more exciting the more I learned about it. I am off the chart, off the charts excited. And really, it's an honor to be able to launch with this company and build in the U.S. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And I'm, we're just going to bring blessing to so many people. So, yeah, awesome. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Hey, uh, Susie, uh, Ryan Thompson here. Um, I want to congratulate you as well. I've got a quick question also, Angie, the follow-up for Susie, because Susie, when Angie, well, she told me just about 30 minutes ago uh, or, or 40 minutes ago about your month last month, and I said, oh my gosh, we've got to see if she can share a couple minutes. Um, so thank you for doing so. Uh, we have a lot of people on here who are relatively new, right? And, and, you know, they're within their first week, the first two weeks of actives. And I think that the first enrollment is always the most difficult, the first couple, the first, the, the first, you know, and we're uh, the first, and it has a lot to do with belief in oneself or lack thereof. Can you give, what, what do you, what do you coach people? Like what, what tips could you maybe share with people who are feeling that way, who are looking at you? You just enrolled 19 people in one month, which is outstanding. But, you know, what do you teach someone who's never enrolled their first person? Why don't you share that with us? Well, basically I would just ask them to put the question out and just say, hey, are you open to take a look at something? Mm -hmm. And usually they'll say, sure. And that's when I would tell them to send um, Trish Albrechtson's activespresentation.com. Even, you know, that, that is a good overview from start to finish. And sometimes people will look at that and they'll say, well, yeah, I'm interested in the products. But then, of course, Trisha does cover the business aspects of it, which is important. She's, she's given the whole picture. So sometimes um, I will follow on with the actives.info. Is that what it's called, Trish? <laughs> actives info. Yeah. Actives.info. Actives .info. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because that, that really allows them to navigate to things that are interesting to them and they can go from there. And of course, I will invite them to a Zoom presentation. But then just be available to answer whatever questions they have and come back with yeah. filling the needs yeah. that they present to you. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you for sharing that, Susie. I had to ask, I had to ask, and congratulations again. This is a huge accomplishment. Angie, why don't you, you, you take it back again? But Susie, that's great. We're all cheering for hey, you. Hey, it's good to see you again, Ryan. You too. Welcome. I'm welcome very to happy the, to be here. Welcome to the, <laughs> welcome to the family. Well done. Glad to have you here. We're, we're so excited for you, Susie, and we are excited to continue to see you grow and do amazing things. So, Kate, we have been talking about um, the the growing the top five growing states month um, each each month on these calls. So, we wanted to go through and tell you what our top five growing states are for the month of September, which these are kind of cool. Like we haven't heard about Louisiana, we haven't really heard about Mississippi, but they've had. 2000% growth month over month, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and then we have some states that actually had really good growth before and they exploded like New York, even though it's only 204%, which, which is actually great. Um, the amount of volume that they had before and then the amount of volume that they had in September was incredible. So we have these little pockets of people like popping up um, all over the place, Louisiana, Mississippi, Virginia, New York, and Oklahoma. So those are our top five as far as percent growth month over month. So it's really cool to see these new pockets of people uh, popping up in the US. And then the other thing that we have been talking about are the top sales and top enrollments um, enrolling states in the US. So as far as sales goes, Texas has been leading for a few months now, and they were um, top of the the uh, top of the states for the month of September as well. So way to go, Griselda and her team out there. Um, we have California for sales. So Texas, California, Utah, Colorado, and Arizona um, for sales. You guys are the top five states that are for sales. And then for enrollments, 
um, Texas, California, Utah, uh, sorry, New York, Utah, and Colorado. So you can see New York popped in there with the enrollments. So their percent of growth um, from the last chart is showing in their percent of enrollments. And I have a feeling uh, uh, New York is going to be uh, coming up and being one of our top five as far as sales go. So keep going. This is totally awesome. We love recognizing the states and the growth that they're having. Um, if you don't see your state on there, get with your teams and figure out what you knew, need to do so that we can grow some other states in the U.S. as well. Okay, now we're going to move on to rank advancements. And we have um, some really cool uh, announcements. These rank advancements, just to preference, these are English speaking. So if, you're, um, if your account is marked as English in our system, we're recognizing your English speaking rank advancements. We have a ton more rank advancements that are Spanish speaking. But due to time constraints, we're going to just focus on the English speakers for this call. So our first one, and this is really cool, drum roll. Um, we have Trish and Eric Albertson. They reached the rank of A12. Woo! This is phenomenal. So they just hit the rank of A11 in, in the month of August. And then they hit the rank of A12 in the month of September. So you can, you can see the growth that they're having. Um, it's very cool. I just want to congratulate Eric and Trish. They really um, put together this great system that's working for their team. Um, and they're having a lot of great rank advancements within their um, network. The next rank advancement is uh, Coco Gonzalez. She reached the rank of A8. Congratulations, Coco. So Coco has been working really hard. Um, I would say that Coco, uh, she had, she's the most persistent distributor that I talk to. Um, she never gives up. She always has opportunities um, lined up that she's working through and her hard work is paying off and she reached the rank of A8. So congratulations, Coco Gonzalez. Um, the next one is Sean and Laura Jeffs. So they reached the rank of A7. Congratulations. Um, from Orangeville, Utah. So you guys have heard us talk about Orangeville, Utah a lot in the last couple months. Um, so Sean and, and Laura are, are kind of at the top of that Orangeville, Utah group, and they reached the rank of A7 for the month of September. So we want to congratulate them. We know that they've been working hard and uh, balancing out their organization. So uh, it's great to see them rank advancing as well. And then we have Matthew Felton that reached the rank of A6. Congratulations, Matthew. Matthew is constantly working. Um, no matter where he is, if he's traveling, if he's on the road, Matthew is always working. And Diane, Diane's his upline. Diane always says, I know Matthew's going to pass me up. One of these days, Matthew is going to pass me up. Um, and he's sure working hard so that he can pass Diana. But he reached the rank of A6 in September. So congratulations, Matthew. Um, we're so proud of you. Then we have uh, Susie Boyd, which we just talked to. Um, Susie is new. I think Susie joined in August, I believe. Um, I, I need to go back and check. She joined August or September, but Susie hit the rank of A6. So she's fairly new to the company and she has already reached the rank of A6. We already heard that she was a top enroller for the US for the month of September and it's showing in the ranks that she's hitting. So we're super excited for Susie. Congratulations on hitting the rank of A6. And we have um, our A5s for the month of September were Bryant Snow from Orangeville, Utah and Jan McMillan. Um, so congratulations to you guys for hitting the rank of A5. Um, for A4s, we have uh, Jolene Bundy from St. George, Utah and Kelly Warren from Huntington, Utah. So uh, Utah has been hitting the map um, uh, on these rank advancements. So congratulations to Jolene and Kelly. And then our A3s, we have um, Apolina Silva, Sean Bell, Kareem Mountjoy, Team Safe, Maria Vasquez, Jasmine Medina, Melanie Decker, Jessica Pena, Darlene uh, Kanucky, Cassandra Peterson, Barbara Duke, and Paul Paff. So congratulations to you guys all. We're only going down to A3 for this call, but we want to congratulate you all for, for these awesome rank advancements, and we're excited to continue to see people grow. So that's all that I have, Stu, so I'm going to turn the time back over to you. That is great, Angie. Love the promotions that we have in here. Great starter kit um, introduced by Actives, um, getting a discount, but also getting a good deal with that. All of that to help you and everyone um, you know, grow their business. But more importantly, once again, congratulations for all those that ranked advanced this past month. Um, and so I'm gonna 
um, take some time from this call and give it back to you, you, the leaders and the distributors, so we can hear from you what works, what doesn't work. And so I asked Trish Albertson, who recently ranked up, but her and her husband ranked up to A12, a great milestone in their business and here at Actives. And so I just want to um, give a few uh, minutes to her um, to let us know, like Ryan you know, pointed out in asking Susie, what have you guys been doing there in hot, cool, cooling down, so to speak, Arizona, that is contributing to your success? Well, thank you, Stu. We are just really trying to focus some time every day. And I think consistency is absolutely key in building this business. If you opened a traditional business and you only randomly, sporadically opened up your business, you wouldn't have a very good business because people would never know if you're the one to go to, because sometimes you're there, sometimes you're not, they can get all hyped up to come and then all of a sudden there's a closed sign. So same thing with our business here. People wanna know that you're in it to win it, you're in it for the long haul and you're consistent and you believe in your business and that it's open. So every day we're talking to people, every day we're helping our leadership, we're helping the people that are brand new down underneath them. And we're looking for new people ourselves because we don't ever want to shift completely into managerial mode. We want to make sure that we're still enrolling and we're still doing the things that we want them to be doing. We try not to ask our people to do anything we're not doing ourselves. Um, the other thing that we're doing is we're really focusing on helping people launch. And as much as it is important to have timing, and we are so blessed, all of us, to have the timing with this company, but even more than that, I think it comes down to launching your business. If you don't launch, you're just kind of poking around in hobby mode. And too many people get into these industries and complain, oh, it just doesn't work for me. It really has nothing to do with that because we know the industry works. There's more millionaires that are created in this industry than any other. And so we have the right industry. It's just a case of whether we're doing the right behaviors in the right time frame. Timing really, really is critical. But I truly believe that some of the biggest distributors are not even inactives yet and may not hear about it for five or 10 years. But they'll come in and they'll launch hard and fast, just like Susie did last month and Diane did. And, you know, we've, we've had all of these pockets of people, you know, Orangeville launched. Everybody that's really growing fast has launched. They took it seriously in their first few weeks and they did the things that are in the success guide. They followed the steps. They put the information in front of people, either themselves or they put them in front of us or their upline mentorship. It's just a case of putting it in front of people quickly so that you can get that momentum because the company is going to have its own momentum. We hear about the momentum coming out of the states that they just talked about. We hear about the momentum coming out of South America and the Latino markets. We have to create our own momentum here in the U.S. market. But even more important than that, we have to create our own momentum in our own area where we are, and we have to create our own momentum on our own team. That's where it really, really starts. So you can watch momentum going on all around you, and you can be you know, four from the top or five from the top and totally miss this if you don't put in your own momentum. So that's what we're trying to teach to each of our people. So I spend a good portion of every day teaching and training, trying to help my people understand the importance of really taking their launch seriously. And if they're brand new, it's launching from the beginning. And if they've been in for a little while, draw the line in the sand and launch from where you are. But at some point, every leader has to launch. So back to you, Stu, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Trisha. Great words of advice, um, consistency, timing, helping those in your team. Great advice from an A12 and future A16. Um, you and your husband are doing great. Um, I know a lot of people on this call has been blessed and was helped by you and your husband. And then also in the program that you have, like you're saying, you guys have a plan. And I, I've seen the plan. Um, I talked with you personally about the plan. It is great. And it's just a matter of following it. And as you pointed out, like Ring. Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you do not take. So unless you take the shot, unless you start, you'll never have the success that Trish and her husband, Eric, have. And they are the great ultimate support uh, for any of those in their team, but also 
anybody in actives, they love working with other groups, with other people, with other leaders, and that's what makes them great. And so we appreciate your leadership, both you and your husband's leadership, and your helpfulness that you give to everybody on board here on this call and the many others that are not. And so I want to turn the time over now to our newly ranked advanced A8, also hailing from Arizona. And I don't know if you guys saw her slide or her recognition um, certificate. It A quote that she had, everybody else's was in English, hers was in Spanish. But just to let you know, Coco, not only am I fluent in Japanese, but I also fluent in Spanish because I could translate what it was written. And Aristotle said, the intelligence consists not only in the knowledge, but also in the skill to apply the knowledge into practice. And that was written on Coco Gonzalez's certificate. So I would love to have her elaborate not only on the quote, but also what she's been doing to rank advance to A8. I would like her to talk to Stu in Spanish first. Let's just test his Spanish ability. Si, 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 si. Just kidding. Okay. La, la traducción fue muy buena, fue excelente, perfecta. Entonces, yo creo que sí hablas español. Um, gracias, gracias. Well, <laughs> you know, um, well, I don't know. For me, first to rank this was about a teen at four. Um, you know, I was uh, in a training with Ryan yesterday morning, and he says something. You, um, what is to you to rank to, uh, you know, like now eight, eight, just a recognition that you wanted to be recognized that you are at eight or what does that mean right now? And for me it was a teen at four because if they didn't do what they needed to do, I was not able to be here. Uh, maybe you guys don't know, but I was in a car accident um, the 26th of um, September. That was a Saturday. I was coming to sign up the person. So I was so excited. You know, I was I was having with my sign up. And that last week, that week I signed up five people. Uh, but that Saturday after the accident, you know, you are, I was so motivated because I know that I need to rank. And I just had like... Uh, 560 to rank the next level and I was like oh my god and I had this accident my grandson just born two weeks ago also and I was like well what I learned from this accident because you know I was really sore I think I had a slings in my chest and 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 I was thinking well first of all I need to be grateful for life I need to be grateful that I like to see my grandson and all this effort I'm doing here with Actis wasn't able to count this, I was dying. <laughs> so, and that also showed me that you don't know how long you're gonna be here, but the time that you are here, you need to enjoy it and make it a, and to do your best. And something that I was getting with from Ryan yesterday when he was giving his training, now you're in this advance, you need guys, the first thing that you need to do is how to pass the stick to your people to rank um, like you are doing it. And you know, and Trish talked to about help us to launch others. So I feel now the commitment for me very strong is that everybody, you know, I know John is in the call, the Rick was in the call for those guys, to see what I see, because sometimes I see it, but I feel like they don't see it, you know? And I was like, I want to pull it from the head and like, come on, you don't see it here? Kind of in John Ryan's call, Christina Godoy this morning. And I want them just to, to hear it and see that. But Ryan says something, you need to get the stick. They, they can see that when they sign up, they just need to get the tree. And, uh, and to see that they are gonna recover the investment and then to build visualization where they need to go, what are they, how they need to rent to the 500 club to have the 500 bundles and then to go to A6 and then to 88 and then to 812 like Trish and Eric are day. So for me, it's just consistency, had faith, um, had the strategy, and uh, be very humble and ask for help and um, don't quick and try different, try different 
ways. Don't get stuck with one. I remember the first book boot camp of Ryan. Uh, he said, what do you guys did today? And I, and when was my turn, I say I went to a nature and nature health store. And they say no, and I was crying. And Ryan said, you are working so hard. And I was like, yes, I'm working so hard. And I know I'm in result. And I'm so working, but I, I was not doing with technique. I was, I think, in the wrong direction. But then I start switching directions and I start having results. So, and I start planting a lot of seeds like Susie is doing it. I think that's the success. I plant a lot of seeds at the beginning of September. And then the last half of September, I was following up all those little seeds. And that's when I saw the results and I was helping some of the teens to, to follow up with the seeds. And um, Trish is doing some very good trainings to teach those people how to follow those seeds. Because I think sometimes they, they plant a seed and then later go, they get frustrated and they don't come and follow up those little seeds or they get stuck with those little seeds and they don't go and plant more. So I think the key is to plant many seeds you can and, 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 and give the stick to your team so they can run a band like where we are advancing. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much, Coco. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can tell her enthusiasm, you know, her, her, I guess, just her energy that she has and her passion that she has um, for actives and into helping other people um, build their business. And so we appreciate your example, Coco, your, your leadership as well for you and your team. Um, in all that you do. Congratulations once again for ranking up to A8. Um, before we move on the call, I just wanted to give a shout out and recognize our A16, Christina Godoy on the call joining us. I didn't recognize her without seeing her shoes, her red heel shoes. Um, the glasses and the hat threw me off, but nonetheless, Christina, you're as beautiful as ever. We thank you for your leadership as well um, in helping a lot of those here in the US in the Latino markets as well, um, grow their business. So thanks for joining us today. To wrap us up on this call, we're actually gonna double dip here real quick. As Coco pointed out, Ryan is one of the master trainers, not only here at Actives at our company, but for the whole industry. He's been there, done that kind of guy. Um, and so he knows what it takes from a distributor standpoint to be the leader and also from the corporate side in helping distributors such as yourselves reach the highest rank in the company here at Actives. And so since we're at the beginning of October, Ryan has voluntarily, well, I'm just asking him right now, but no, he's going to give us a sales tip, a training tip that hopefully you can take um, and and up. Uh, um, implement that in your business, especially for this October month. And after the, um, Ryan talks, we'll have our CEO, David Brown, um, wrap us up and give us our closing remarks. So I'll turn the time over to Ryan. Sure. Um, happy to do that, Stu. Thank you very much. Congratulations again to everybody who rank advanced. And, and I, I do want to say, Angie said at the beginning, the recognition today, these are just people who have English selected um, uh, on their profiles um, on Latino San Acción. We spend a lot of time doing recognition um, Spanish, but we do recognize all of you, everybody who rank advanced. And I think, you know, maybe we're going to need to change the title of the Zoom, not to the U.S. update, but to probably English update, because um, there's a lot of, a lot of people living here in the U.S. that speak uh, languages other than English. So Angie, maybe we want to talk about that. Um, but again, congratulations. And to have new A12s, Trish and Eric, I'm so excited for you guys. That is so exciting. And Coco, obviously that was exciting. And I love getting your text messages when you said, I'm 280 points away from hitting A8. And, and you, 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 you took me along that journey with you. And I really, really appreciated that. Um, I'm going to share a quick tip. Um, Coco mentioned uh, something that I talked about yesterday on a training call. And lately I've been spending a lot of time thinking about something. Actually, I've been thinking about lots of things, um, but I, be, for, for the sake of time, I'm gonna keep it simple and keep it short. Um, 
And so I want to talk about uh, the language that we use sometimes. And I, I will tell you this, that going back um, a lot of years, I like to compare and contrast people who make it with people who don't. And I've been working in the industry for a lot of years with top earners and people who join, who get, with, have a ton of enthusiasm, a, t a great background, great credentials. And then something happens and they end up quitting or they end up disappearing. And, and we, and, you know, and over the years at, at any given company, I scratched my head and said, I wonder what happened to that person? Where did they go? And, uh, and sometimes people just self-select and they, and they say, you know what, this isn't for me. This isn't working. I'm going to go move on. And uh, so starting uh, in 1995 is when full-time I was working in this industry and, and really went back and forth of, as a distributor and corporate over the course of several years, I actually started doing that in 1992. But um, the difference, there, there's a few differences that I want to talk about right now with, with all of you, the people that make it versus the people that don't. And what I mean by make it are the people that reach their goals that really, if it's if it's the highest rank, if it's A16 that you're running for, that, that if that's what it means, if if it may what, what what how you define as uh, my English is terrible, if that's how we're going to define making it, I'll use A16 um, as an example for that. And and I've asked myself for years, why do some people make it and others don't? And it has to do with a few things. Coco mentioned, you know, the ability to pass the baton, to create a succession plan for yourself, duplication, pull leaders up, pour more, pull, pull more people up, realize it's not about you. It's about, it's about the entire organization. Um, it, it's, it, and, 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 but I'm not going to spend time talking about that right now. I want to talk about something that I've notice between people that really make and people that 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 kind of get get lost along the way one of these principles has to do with how we talk the language that we use um keeping things simple simple for for prospects simple for people um who might be kicking our tires and to to kind of make this point explain this point i will tell you that at least once a week here at actives I'm asked to get on a call or Zoom with someone and, and they always say, you know, I've got this top leader from the industry. They were making 50 grand a month or 120 grand a month or whatever the case is at some other company. And this is a huge leader and they're checking us out in actives. And this does without exaggerating, exaggerating happens at least once a week. And I like to get on the call and I always, you know, find out, you know, what's this person's story you know, why are you checking us out? What are you looking for? You know, what happened? And I, and I like to find out what happened at these other companies that would cause someone to look for a new home. And we know that that happens for a variety of reasons, but inevitably we end up having a conversation about the comp plan, how to make money here. Now I'll tell you that top leaders like to cut to the bottom line, right? They don't like to spend a lot of time saying, okay, well, let's go through a top to bottom dissertation on how the comp plan works. Explain to me fast start, explain to me one time rank advancement bonuses, or explain to me Unilever, explain to me global bonus pools, explain to me, you know, your this, that. What they like to do is they like to ask, how quickly can someone on my team make $500 a month? Explain that to me. They'll also ask questions like, how quickly can someone make $10,000 a month. Explain that to me. And, and I'll just tell you that over the years, the people who are the most successful have an ability to explain that in 30 seconds. The people who, for whatever reason, don't make it, a lot of, they get, they get stuck in what I'll, I'll call sort of the dogma of the industry for their company, right? They become infatuated with, you know, the technology, the science or the comp plan, and they feel that they have to do a top to bottom explanation when really that doesn't attract people. It, it shows, it makes it seem harder for people. So I'll just cut to the, to the chase here and, and be more simple than I, than I've been in the last um, 10 minutes. Um, we need to master how to answer people's questions directly. What I mean by that, if someone says, explain to me what the different, what, what makes your comp plan different know what makes it different, right? It, paying eight levels doesn't make it different. 
Uh, the fact that it has uh, dynamic compression doesn't make it different. The fact that it has four business centers does make it different. The fact that it's a hybrid unilevel makes it different. So I would, I would encourage you to become familiar with these terms. The other thing that I wanna encourage you to do is, is when I say learn how to answer questions, let me show you what I mean by that. I mean, if someone says, okay, cut to the bottom line, how do I make money, right? Well, the first, the first way to answer that, you might be tempted to say, okay, well, I'd like to schedule time to talk to you about that. How about uh, three o'clock this afternoon or eight o'clock? Well, what I have found in my experience when we do that, a lot of people say, uh, you know what, forget about it. That, that, that's okay, I'm not interested, right? And, and they use that kind of as, as, a, as an excuse to get, to, to get out of it. But if you can in 15 to 30 seconds deliver what I'm gonna call an elevator pitch on answering that question, it will serve you because they'll see that not only are you serious, not only do you know your stuff, but it's something that they can actually do. So I'm gonna just share real quick something. This is in English. Um, I'm gonna skip over this here. These, this is just, these are some tips that I use in training. Here we go. Number one, how to earn. You should master how to talk about the ROI, how to invest and how to get an ROI. If it costs you about $200 to start your own business, if you invite three people into your business that are somewhat entrepreneurial who can spend one to two hours a day following a system, you're going to make your money back. The company, you're going to make about $200, right? That's the quickest way to explain the ROI. Notice what I don't do is I don't talk about, I don't use terms like fast start bonus. The reason why I don't do that is because it's a new term for a lot of people. And when people listen to and hear a new term, mentally, a lot of people put up a block. They're like, oh, wait, wait, what? What is this? I don't know what you're talking about. But if you say the company will pay you $200 when you introduce, when, when you invite three business partners, and notice I call them business partners, not distributors, never, and I never use the word prospect unless it's in a training, right? People don't like to be viewed as prospects, right? But, but, but the term business partner is a good term to use. A anyways, point is, is number one, make sure that you, that you, that you understand that. Point number two, uh, questions that lots of people want to know, and especially leaders from other companies, how, how do I make my first $500? Well, get really good at explaining the 500 Club. And actually, the 500 Club pays us $900, doesn't it? It's not just $500. There's an extra $500 bonus. But be able to talk about that in, in 15 to 20 seconds and talk about it confidently so that you're transmitting what, what, you know, in Spanish, we use the term posture a lot, right? Transmitting conviction and confidence. The third question that I find that people need to know the answer to is how do I make $500 a month? Well, in about, I think at page four of the success guide, we introduce a principle or a program called the Y3 program. Yo mas tres. <laughs> that's, the, that's Spanish, isn't it? And it's called M3, uh, which is me plus three, that me plus three me plus three friends, right? Uh, uh, with about a $200 uh, a, a dollar order every month, that, that would be an Optimend, a Link. It would be, you know, with a Genomex, maybe a serum in there. That's about 200 PV per month. And each one of us finding five customers. That's the mother-in-law, the neighbor, the sister, the cousin, the brother. When you do that, you're going to make if each person had exactly 200 PV, that would pay you $300 residually each and every month, you plus three friends. Now, obviously what people consume is gonna vary. So that's why I say it's, it's, it's about 380 to $500 per month. But guys, you, you should really understand, we've got some background noise, if you can help me with the no, mute, please. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, Make sure that you're mastering that. Master that. And I, and I say master that because versus learn that. If you've mastered it, when you talk about it, you're going to transmit confidence, right? And people in transmit belief, right? And at the end of the day, that's what this is about. The fourth thing that people ask frequently and specifically leaders from, from the industry and from other companies is they say, okay, um, if, if your comp plan or your company is as good as, as, as you say it is, 
um, I, I would need to know how to make at least 10 grand a month if I'm gonna really take this seriously. So how do we talk about that? Well, one way to talk about, about that is say, well, we're gonna help you, like I said, we're gonna help you get your money back with three business partners, right? And, and we're gonna take advantage of what we call the M3 program, me plus three, and that's gonna pay you $300, 380 to, you know, between four to $500 per month. And you're also gonna have, the, the company's gonna give you a title and that title, they're gonna call you an A3. That's just a title to, to designate or to delineate how much, how much sales volume you have in your organization. The next step is we're going to help you get a fourth business partner. And when you do that, when you do that, and you help that person do what you did with your first three, you're gonna receive the rank, the title of A6. And our, at that title, at that rank, you're gonna earn an average of about $1,000 a month. Now, the next step to earning $10,000 a month is we're gonna take, we're gonna take uh, your, your four people and we're gonna go find, well, we're gonna go find another six business partners. And we're going to help them do exactly what you did with your fourth. Now, in lame, for, for all of you who understand our comp plan, you're going to find 10 people and help them become, first of all, A3s, but then help them become A6s. So in layman's terms, you're going to help 10 people earn $1,000 a month. Do you know 10 people who would like to earn $10,000 a month? Yes. When you do that, the company gives you a title and a rank, it's called A12, and the average income at that rank is actually $10,500, but there's your $10,000. So where I'm going with all of this is sometimes we spend all, too much time focusing on concepts like dynamic compression, like how many levels do we pay? Like what's the percentage on each level? With how many legs we have to have? We, we draw lots of circles and lines and zeros, and, and that's okay. It's okay to understand how the comp plan is programmed, but to be able to explain it in, I'll, I'll just call it layman's terms, understandable everyday terms, it will help you, it, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna help you explain how to make money in a way that's far more understandable by the majority of people and have much more success. And, and we talk about sometimes um, elevator pitches. An elevator pitch is talking about the business right in in the space of you know a minute and a half while you're on the elevator and i would just challenge all of you to start working on these four points these four points if you can talk about how to get an roi how to make your first 500 dollars, how to make 500 dollars a month and then how to make ten thousand dollars a month and do each of those in 30 seconds you're going to find that there's a different and better result that comes when you have these conversations with people last but not least i'll just say a big difference between people that, that reach the high levels of success and those that don't, is the people who become leaders are great listeners. They ask the right questions and they, they, they stop trying to sell. They stop talking about you know, what they think the value proposition is. And instead, they ask what the other person is looking for. And they ask whether that person is happy at their job, whether or not that person is you know, reaching their goals in life. And based on that response, they are then providing them an answer. One of these four points is likely to be the answer, the solution to what plagues many Americans, right? Which is simply more money or it's more time with family or more vacations. So if you can use one of these four points to resolve those concerns, you'll be well on your way to the top. So anyways, that's my tip of the day. Stu, you asked me to share a little sales tip and there you have it. Guys, uh, we're really proud of everybody. This, the U.S. is just cranking right now. And uh, so, you know, I'll give it up for all of you. And congratulations once again for all those new, new ranks. Anyway, Stu, back to you. Thanks so much, Ryan. Really appreciate it. Um, as you guys can see, definitely Ryan knows what he's talking about. Um, and it's very simple. Just key points that he talked about is not, hey, try doing this this or do that. I think this works. It's concrete um, points that he pointed out um, in helping you um, and your team achieve the success um, 
that you um, want um, um, and, you know, basically your goals, your whys. And as great as our products are um, in genomics, Link, Optimin, Aero, and our Emora um, line, the compensation plan, as David numerous times pointed out, is one of our other great products that we have. And knowing how to get to where you want to be, as Ryan pointed out, is very important. And it's simple in sharing. So um, thank you so much for that advice and those sales tips, Ryan. Really appreciate that. Hope everyone can take note to that and apply that in your business for this month or this up until this year. Um, to increase your ranks and, and your wallets um, in achieving the goals that you um, have for yourself and your team. And so to wrap us, on the, wrap us up on the call, I'll turn the time over to David Brown, our CEO. Thanks, Stu. Well, we've, we've been uh, well fed today, really great stuff. Um, you know, it's interesting as you listen to Ryan and, and Stu's exactly right. I mean, seriously, no one knows this stuff better than Ryan does, nor are few people able to communicate it in just a succinct, easy to understand fashion. Um, but if you look at what he just talked about, it's, it's actually represented on this call. The people who rank advanced, if you look around um, on this call, the, the highest ranks have the most people on this call. I can see people from, I see leaders from Christina's organization. I see leaders from, from Trish and Eric's organization and, and down. It, you can see that they are inviting people on this call and therefore they're passing along uh, this information. And you might say, well, it's a little bit different than what Trish's group does. That's actually exactly the same. They just add an extra element that instead of M3, they do the four and just moves you along faster. But everything else is exactly what, what um, Ryan talked about because those are just fundamental business principles that, that really work. I was actually thinking about the word launch when Trish was talking. You remember how you, she said, you launch your business. She didn't say start your business. She didn't say, you know, take a little bit of a jog with your business. She said, launch your business. And, um, and Coco is a great example of that. You guys realize that when, when a rocket launches, it, use, it uses 11,000 pounds of fuel a second, okay, to overcome that, that gravitational pull. Okay, and to get and to get going, and and so that's a lot. And and what happens is that fuel is pure. It doesn't. They don't mix it up with a bunch of different fuels. It's all rocket fuel. And I think Ryan's provided you with that rocket fuel. Those basic fundamental principles. You don't need to go and get be an expert on everything. Just master that basic rocket fuel. Then just go do it. And and Coco did that. You know, after that first stage of the rocket blasts off and gets them going, then that stage falls away and now they're they're still utilizing fuel but most of that is involved in fine fine tuning and making sure you're on the right you're on the right path and coco learned that she got out of the gate great she was she was burning a lot of energy but she realized that maybe it wasn't going in the right direction so she fine tuned her direction it was very teachable and that's awesome because i know from from personal experience some people in coco's organization um, didn't want to listen they thought they knew all the all the answers, and um, and guess what? She ranked advanced, and they haven't. And and uh, but the good news is that you've all heard of failure to launch when rockets don't get off the pad. They don't just give up. They just, just they don't just throw the rocket away. <laughs> they try it again. They see what went wrong. Did we not have enough fuel? Did we not ignite? Whatever. And if some of you haven't launched yet, it's not too late. Um, it's in fact, it's never too late until you just walk away and give up. You just it's it's now is the time. To, to put these things into, into practice. Um, it's interesting, uh, last night I was given something that was a journal of my great grandfather and, um, and he, he kept meticulous diaries. And I wonder if, if each of us kept an actives diary, if you wrote down every day, what did you do today? Um, and just did it a little bit better every single day. You might be surprised, you know, food diaries are something that people keep and they've been proven to be as effective and almost as almost every weight loss plan, when people finally figure out, they finally write down everything they ate during a day and they're surprised and say, whoa, I didn't realize I ate so much or what I ate and I've got to modify what I'm doing. It might surprise us both in a good way and sometimes maybe not in a good way as, as we keep our actives diary, our actives journal, so to speak, and keep track of what we did during the day um, not, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be war and peace, just basic <laughs> points and maybe track your, track your progress and say, okay, did I really do something today? And I think that what you'll find is that not only as you're sharing, 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 like Susie said, 
and focusing on the basics, 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 like Ryan said, that you are growing and that your influence has been incredible. Um, it's, as I was reading my great grandfather's journal, he was talking about other people, people who had made a difference in his life, people that he encountered and were noteworthy enough that he put it in his journal. And kind of going back to, to Aaron's um, testimonial call last night, um, think about whoever introduced him to these products and the difference that it made in their lives. Um, now, um, I'm sure that they have been more than one journal entry in, in Aaron's book of life. Um, and that's what really happens as we share these things with other people. Not only are we writing our own actives journal, but we're becoming part of somebody else's actives journal, somebody else's life and part of and part of their family lore. And that's incredible. And that's what's really happening. It's fun to talk about ranks. It's fun to talk about commissions. It's fun to talk about all those type of things. But what's really incredible and the ultimate legacy that we're all leaving are the lives that we're changing. But that but those lives can't be changed if we don't share, if we don't know what we're going to say and if we don't practice so that we can say it more effectively and be more of a, an efficient messenger to help them along the path. So anyway, great stuff today, guys. Um, I'm excited about the rest of this month. Um, it's exciting to be on such a great team with all of you people um, with us today and, and great team members and look forward to uh, seeing you again soon. Uh, great luck, good luck with everything that you're doing. And, and, and remember that if you give it your best, it's always good enough. So thanks, Stu. Thank you so much, David. Really appreciate it. Um, yes, launch your business, shoot for the stars, and you guys will. You guys are already out of this world um, because you guys are our superstars. So we appreciate the kind words and the motivation, David. Um, before I hand the time over to Angie to do our lucky draw, I just want to shoot a quick reminder to everyone. This Saturday, if you love this training that Ryan did, well, stay tuned. We have two I did my fingers, two A12s. That's going to be our presenters um, this Saturday, as well as members from our scientific advisory board, Dr. Joseph Maroon uh, will be there. So Eric Albertsons, you know, we have the, the beauty and the brains in the Albertsons. So I, you know, Trish kind of take all the credit. You know, Eric does have some good looks as well. You know, so she cannot hog all the, the looks and the brains. Um, but he, the better... I don't know, the better half or whatever, the good half, um, they're powerful couple. Um, he will be one of our presenters. And our other presenter will be Claudina Brenneman. She is also, if you haven't heard her present, oh man, she is wonderful, wonderful to listen to. Great advice um, and tips that she'll be giving. Um, so stay tuned. It'll be 5 a.m. Hawaii time for all those here in Hawaii. Wake up bright and early. Um, but for most of you, 9 o'clock um, Utah time, 11 o'clock East Coast time for Susie Dam in Virginia, um, later, later on in the morning. Um, but nonetheless, it's a great way to start your Saturday. Um, and there'll be great advice, great tips. So invite those in your teams to join us this Saturday for our October Active School. So with that, Angie, I will turn the time over to you. Okay, let's do our, our drawing. We're going to do our Wheel of Names, and this will be uh, two people for, uh, let's go 100 reward points, because we, uh, we're so excited with all the rank advancements. So here is our first winner. All right, Matthew Felton. I started dancing and I realized you guys can't hear my music. So, um, but okay, let's do our second name. So Matthew Felton, congratulations. And here is our next winner. All right, Karina, congratulations as well. So. You guys are our lucky winners for the raffle. Again, it's 100 reward points. Um, I will get those added to your account. Thank you all for joining. And just like Stu said, make sure you join this Saturday for Active Schools. I can't wait to hear from Eric and Claudina. But thank you all for joining. It sounds like, looks like Ryan has something to say. No, just uh, have a great day. <laughs> Thanks, Angie. Uh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank everyone. you all. Thanks thank for you. That's wonderful. Thank you. 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 Thank you.